detect some defects or overproduction uh, or underproduction of some biological compounds involved in several diseases, etc. I collaborate with Russians, uh, we, we've known each other for a while, and they are much faster in getting to the end than we are. So they began to work on the drugs, even though we had collaborated with them, they were faster in getting it into development. So I mean, we've lost out there. But the important thing is that our collaboration, they have opened up to give us their data, clinical tests on patients to speed up our process here. Because to apply, you need some documentation, how far they are. Our drugs are going to be slightly different from theirs. Some of these funding agents are patronized. In a sense, they, they think that we should always go there and learn from them. They feel they don't have anything to learn from us. I'm sorry. We have a lot to teach and we have a lot to offer. And, and people had better appreciate that. If you collaborate with me, you had better appreciate that, that we have a lot to offer. When we see how she's working and how science is is done here in South Africa through what she's doing in Rhodes University. We know that we can have, we are able to found uh, persons here in charge of science having the same standard and the same quality and the same high quality required for science everywhere in the world. So this is how she's affecting uh, the, the our view of science here in South Africa, in, in Africa in general. Because it takes long for this thing to grow up, you know, all the way up, while you are thinking about Hess's law. There are very high skills involved in this type of research. So it's not always the end product that is the, the, the product, the process towards the end product, the training of people, the, the making young people realize that chemistry can have a final application is very important. Even though we, we are not there yet, or we, in my lifetime we may not get there yet, but the process is very important for them to realize that it's possible to change the mindset. Yes, we can do this. Yes, if she can do it, and she was a shepherd. I mean, they liked that. She was a shepherd. Why can't we do it? Because we have had shoes. She didn't even have shoes, you know, that type of thing. I think her students walk away feeling that they have had the absolute best education and the best supervision. They love her to bits. They are extremely protective of her. Um, and they, they know that they probably would not get a better education anywhere else. Her, her research is world-class, she's a world-class scientist, a world-class supervisor. She has made me to see that indeed um, knowledge of science is not something that you have to just embolden to yourself, it's something you have to dissipate so that others, because the world of science is so big, oh, you can't even take a, a, a percentage of it, it will be too much for an individual. So you have to just reason together, gather ideas together. She doesn't see herself big there. She sees that she learns from her students, she believes she learns from her students, and we see her as a mentor. And I've come to realize that for the future, she should always be able to learn from others also. My students are from all over Africa, and they go back and the, the, the message goes back again. I have a student in Nigeria, brilliant little one. <laughs> he would kill me. Um, he's now a, a lecturer at the University of Lagos. I have one who's a lecturer at the University